Hey guys, Crypto Sunday, and a slightly red week, um, five grand down, not uh, too much, um, not a huge amount of news this week either, um, just sort of uh, having a look at some bits and pieces, but also I always like to highlight the hash rate every now and then, so this affects my uh, Bitcoin miners as well, um, and the sort of overall strength of the network, a lot of people say, if uh, hash rate's going up, it's more decentralization and uh, yeah just a sort of a stronger uh, network harder to sort of attack basically if you wanted to start up a brand new 51 percent attack um, you're obviously going to have to equal uh, all of this and that would cost billions and billions really um, so yeah that's uh, that's pretty good and this translates to uh, difficulty as well um, difficulty gets adjusted every sort of couple of weeks and yeah that's been uh, rocketing up in the last few months so as a miner you really do have to be sort of very very profitable sort of low electricity cost and efficient rigs and efficient use of those rigs um, to sort of make any money um, but generally uh, you would sort of think uh, this increase in hash rate and the halving and just sort of general adoption would push the price up to sort of offset this uh, rise in difficulty. Um, but yeah, good to uh, good to see. So there is some news, uh, Alibaba uh, launching more metaverse stuff, uh, launch pads on Avalanche uh, for people to build sort of metaverse um, applications on the Avalanche blockchain. Surprised they went with uh, Avalanche, but there you go. Um, kind of hoping they would have gone with uh, sort of one of my holdings selfishly, but there you go. Uh, crypto in general is good. They've also uh, deployed something on SUI, uh, which you don't see sort of too often. Sort of the uh, hot new project, the uh, well, it's being called the Solana Killer, which is called the Ethereum Killer. So it's a third generation killer. Um, has sort of kind of already rocketed up in price. If you look at the um, the uh, market cap with all of the dilution um, to come. Then it's basically already bigger than uh, than Solana, I think. So, yeah, interesting to see where they go. But Avalanche getting a, a nice little bump um, from Alibaba. And you sort of had all the worries of this kind of uh, fade into the background at the moment. But um, Digital Currency Group are still struggling to pay their debts. Um, they have a $630 million uh, debt to um, Gemis uh, Genesis which is owned by them, so it's a an internal debt, but that is sort of all held by um, holders, and they will want being paid eventually, and sort of Gemini are embroiled in this as well, and they're sort of, uh, they've had a very public spat with them, uh, sort of sending open letters and that sort of thing, um, and yeah, they're wanting it to be, to be resolved. Um, so Digital Currency Group own uh, Grayscale, which everyone's sort of been worried about because that's uh, 600,000 Bitcoin, uh, about 18 billion at uh, today's prices. And yeah, if they have to sort of liquidate that and give it all back to holders because they go bust, then obviously that will cause a, a huge drop. Um, but they seem to be doing their best to or just delay everything and uh, get more revenue in. Uh, they, I believe they have a 2% fee on uh, that Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. So just last quarter, uh, they earned, I believe, $180 million in uh, fees. So, yeah, the more they can sort of put this off, you almost think it would be in um, Gemini and the Winklevoss's interest to just sort of let them have a bit more time and not go bust and just sort of cream off that revenue, 180 million a quarter. Um, yeah, and then they can sort of pay their debts with that rather than sort of force them to go bust and, you know, end up with a hell of a lot less money. So, 
yeah, see if uh, anything comes of this, but it's certainly sort of reasonably big numbers were anything to happen. Um, but as I say, the market seems to have sort of put this out of their minds for the minute. Uh, you've got the crypto hub of the world, the UK, which I say very uh, cynically, cracking down on ATMs because they're unregulated. Uh, Financial Conduct Authority is very, very unhappy with these uh, crypto ATMs. I mean... I don't like them, to be fair, because a lot of them charge sort of 10% fee, uh, from what I understand. Um, I sort of joke that uh, Coinbase's fee is very expensive at 0.6% fee. So, yeah, 10% is uh, rather, rather poor. And people, I guess, would be sort of using it for money laundering and other crimes, considering they're sort of unregulated and sort of, I would guess, uh, quite anonymous. Um, compared to sort of onboarding with a you know a proper exchange with know your customer rules and anti money laundering rules, so yeah they're going after uh, ATMs and Voyager. It's a bit of a shame, uh, looking like they're going to liquidate everything they have and uh, give that to holders. They're not able to to get a buyer. Uh, Binance were sort of looking to. Uh, to buy them, FTX were originally looking to buy them. Obviously, that uh, that couldn't go through. Um, but they're saying if they had have sold to Binance, for example, then holders uh, may have got seventy two percent of their assets back um, after sort of all uh, all the costs. And if they liquidate everything, they're expecting to get about thirty six percent of their assets. So. I never did go for uh, go for this during the sort of good times. Everyone was saying, you know, why do I sort of just keep mine in wallets and not on these platforms? You know, you could get sort of your whole uh, existing portfolio plus five to ten percent uh, interest per year, depending on sort of which coins you were in. And I just thought, if we're looking at such a large gain uh, over time in crypto, uh, another ten percent sort of for this risk didn't really seem worth it so so far i seem to have uh, that seems to have been a reasonably good decision with sort of block celsius voyager um, all going down i think nexo are still okay that was one of the ones i was looking at but yeah certainly uh, not what they were so it'd be interesting to uh, see sort of when all this gets liquidated not sure how much they've still got um 446 million um, Alameda are still trying to get and sort of obviously liquidation costs in that as well but yeah Binance were going to pay 1 billion for them so there's potentially a bit of uh, sell pressure coming if they have to uh, liquidate everything and that's about it a uh, pretty quiet week to be honest uh, bitcoin is down 1.3 percent uh, ethereum is almost entirely flat um solana down 6.14 percent uh, that sort of had been doing okay uh, but has dropped back uh, i'm kind of looking in the near future to uh, put a bit more into solana so we've got some cash building up and so sort of can't see anything else that I would want to go for more, so yeah, let me know uh, if you're sort of bullish on anything else, but uh, that's looking like where I'm going to add. Um, Cardano down 5.15%, still haven't made the uh, the switch that I was sort of talking about last week, um, sort of uh, waiting on a little bit more bullish news from Cardano, but not really sure where it's uh, going to come from. Uh, Chainlink down 3.8%, XRP down 4%, uh, Audius down 9%, so they're not uh, doing too well, uh, Matic 2.3%, uh, Gala 17.5%, I've not seen, uh, seen the news on that, um, we'll have to have a bit of a dig, uh, Quant 6.6%, Power Ledger 4% down, uh, basic attention token 8.4, uh, internet computer down 11.3, and V chain down 10.8. So yeah, a lot of uh, sort of smaller altcoin pain, and sort of the big big stuff doing fine. Uh, Ethereum sort of doing really well off uh, Pepe coin being burned. It seems 
Um, the uh, meme tokens are sort of back, and yeah, that causes uh, a lot of Ethereum to be burned. So it's potentially uh, even harder than Bitcoin. It's inflating at a slower rate than Bitcoin at the moment. So yeah, interesting. I may at some point uh, switch a little bit more uh, Bitcoin to Ethereum. I did some for capital gains tax reasons, but could maybe do a little bit more. So let me know uh, your thoughts in the uh, comments below and like and subscribe and join the free Discord. See you soon.